G'day, my name's Steve Warrington and I've just been appointed Chief Officer for CFA for the next six months. I'm a proud, passionate CFA person having served with this organisation for over 38 years. I've served that time both as a volunteer and a career firefighter and it's my experience that our volunteers are some of the most battle-hardened, experienced firefighters you'd ever want to come across. It's also my experience that our career firefighters are some of the most professional firefighters you'll ever want to work with. If you then throw in our technical and our support staff, then together we are one of the most experienced professional fire services that you will ever want to uh, work with. Examples of that, last summer alone we had firefighters on the ground in the US, we had firefighters on the ground in Canada, we provided support into Tasmania and into South Australia. And before that, we've been sought after all over this country and in fact all over the globe to provide support or firefighting services. We are a professional service working together as one. The reality is we're one of the biggest urban firefighting services, but yes, we're 100 days out from a fire season as well. And our community are relying on us to continue to provide that service in the professional manner that we have done, we do do now, and we'll continue to provide in the future. I know some of you want to focus on the EBA, but the reality is we will work through the EBA and the board, the CEO and myself will make sure that the professional services we've provided in the past will continue to be provided into the future. At the moment, I'm asking that respect is shown by all career firefighters, volunteers, support staff right across our organisation. Let's pull together and make sure we focus on delivering our services to the community. That's what they expect of us uh, and that's what we will provide. I look forward to an exciting future of CFA where we all work together and our community continues to rely on us collectively to provide that service. Thank you for your time.